Hello, boys. I thought I heard a noise out here. Oh, hey, Dad. Say, there is something pretty peculiar going on here. Now, don't tell me. You've turned the entire garage upside down. Now, why on earth would you do that? We're searching for Ferb's favorite skateboard. Dear, are you aware the boys have turned the garage upside down looking for Ferb's skateboard? As long as they clean up after. Oh, righto. Oh, just a minute. Does that skateboard have a Union Jack on the bottom? That's the one. Turn the thing the right side up and come in the house. I believe I've solved your mystery. You heard him, Ferb. Let's turn it over. So what do you got, Pop? Take a gander at what a certain old geezer posted on his blog. Hey, it's Grandpa. <laughs> Ferb, he must have left your skateboard in England the last time we were there. I know. We could create a highly intricate and sophisticated machine that will transport any object from anywhere on the globe to our backyard. Well, why don't you just build a new skateboard? Yeah, I don't think so. If it's all the same with you, Father, we're going to build the machine. Whoa, Mom, what's with the get-up? I'm on my way to join Vivian Garcia Shapiro at the Mexican Jewish Cultural Fair today. Would you like to come along? Let me think. Um, no. I will. Do it yourself, Bubalisa. Let's give her a trial run. Start with something small. Check it out, dweebs. Bet you can't shoot this apple off my head. <laughs> hmm, not really what I meant, but okay. <laughs> but I still got my apple here, William Chow. Nice buzz cut. High and tight. Hey, it worked. Now let's try it on something more complex. I'm complex. Really, I'm like an onion. Whoa, it's like there's thousands of you guys. Oops, I forgot to install the fly filter. Better try that again. Sorry, Buford. Are you all right? I have a weird craving for something stinky. He's all right. Okay, Ferb, let's get that skateboard before Grandpa breaks his neck. <laughs> yes, it worked. Oops. I say, that's peculiar. My blooming feet have gone missing. I can breathe again. I smell loopings. Better send his feet back. They're back. He grabbed the face in behind me. I say, <laughs> I can get the hang of this. Now I can finally see where I've been. Cracking. Now let's try out that half pipe. Hey, where's Perry? Oh, it's me. Nice entrance today. Simple and understated. I like it. Anyway, we have a situation. We recently discovered that all of the mimes in Danville Park have been trapped in actual invisible boxes. It took days to discover because, well, everyone just assumed they were really good mimes. I'm not even a mime. I'm a robot guy. We're convinced that it has something to do with the new machine Dr. Doofenshmirtz has been working on. We're sending you a photo of his new innator. Oh, yeah. It looks evil, all right. You'd better destroy it. Good luck, Agent D. Hey guys, what you doing? We're conducting an experiment with our mega half pipe and our new photo transporter. Okay, Ferb, let her rip. <laughs> no way! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 hey, I've got to tell Mom. Now, where did she say she was going again? It's a I'm so glad you could make it. Mom, you've got to come home right away. Vinny's and Ferb have... They, they built up a thing that... that. Oh, what's the use? I'll only drag you home to find that the boy's contraption I want to show you has inexplicably disappeared, and once again, you'll think I've lost my marbles. That does seem to be a pattern, doesn't it? Come on, enjoy the festival. Here, have a dreidel rock. You think your machine can find my long-lost teddy bear? I got his picture right here. Hmm, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Teddy Poo Poo! Where have you been? You bad bear! I bet you've been on the road again, haven't you? Well, you're grounded, mister! Oh, I love you. You know, Mrs. Garcia Shapiro, every time I try to show my mom something, it disappears and she thinks I'm crazy. What do you think I should do? Eat! You're too thin! Have a hot of burrito! Uh, thanks. You've been Stable Incorporated! Who's tap tap tapping? Is that the pesky raven again? Oh, big surprise, Terry the Platypus. And by surprise, I mean completely. Ah, uh, uh, I got nothing. 
I, I was really expecting a raven. I'll be honest. And by the way, you're trapped in an invisible box. Yes, I know. I trapped you before in an invisible cage. But this is different. It's a box. It's all part of my evil plan to rid the world of annoying minds. You see, recently I was strolling through the park when suddenly I had the strangest feeling that people were looking at me and laughing. Probably because people were actually looking at me and laughing. And I couldn't figure out what was going on until I turned around and saw a mine. He was mocking me. My walk, my incessant hand wringing, my mantis like posture. Then I decided to get even beyond the Mimonator. With this baby, I'm going to trap every mime in the dry state area in their very own invisible box. I know, huh? Fun with irony. Okay, Ferb, we're ready. How about you? <laughs> I'm chasing the clouds. I'm feeling the ozone. I'm drying my kicks. <laughs> Say queso. Wait a minute. The photo transporter. All I have to do is put my mom's photo in the machine, then she'll be transported right to the boys, right? Yes. <gasps> then the boys' invention can't disappear before mom sees it because she'll be in it. It's foolproof. Phineas and Fur will be buzzing once and for all. Hey, Fur, this Hey, my mom gave me that. Smile. Aha! Aha! Aww. It's nice to see you giving up your obsession with the boys and getting into the spirit of things. Hey, the platypus, you really are quite the mime. It really looks like you're inside an invisible box. Oh, that's right. You really are inside an invisible box. <laughs> I'm already tired of that joke, but I can't stop saying it. You know, it worked so well with the mimes. I decided to put everyone in the tri-state area in an invisible box. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. And now to put his switch! Thanks for the headache! Uh, thanks for the face -ache. Has everyone had a chance to try the machine? Yeah, I got my teddy bear. I got my missing Mindy doll. And I found my missing Uncle Malik! Baljeet, I was just on vacation. Oh. What, are you having a good time? I was. Perry's not back yet. I know. I'll put a photo of him in the machine and transport him back here. No, Pedro Platypus, don't press this up! You're all so busted! Oh, there you are, Perry. <laughs> Move it! This is it! The ultimate bus! Okay! Whoopsie! Ah, come on! You gotta put more effort into it! Oi, caramba! More effort? You got it! Yes! It worked! Mom, Mom, look! It's a pinata! Where did he go? He was standing right there, about to foil my evil plans, and I'm... And now I'm totally free to go forward with my heinous project! Woohoo! Mom! Yes, you Invisible boxes for everyone! Sure, why not? Oh my goodness! I walked all the way home? I guess it's hard to judge distances blindfolded. Well, snacks, anyone? There is no candy in me. There is no candy in me. I am just a little boy. There is no candy in me. Your mother is my daughter, so she cannot see. She attacked me with a bag. There is no candy in me. Nerdy, no pinata. 